Want an even more in-depth look at the toy in this review? An entire gallery of images can be found at Toy News International. Just click the link in this video's description. Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the NECA Toys Aliens, Private William Hudson. That's right, after years and years of getting different variations of the aliens from the alien films, we are finally getting some of the Marines. And today we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of those Marines, being Private William Hudson. Hudson comes in clamshell style packaging that we normally see with many of NECA Toys lines. You can see it's got the Aliens logo up at the top of the blister with some really nice background effects looking like the innards of a ship, and the lower portion of that blister bubble having the character's name. The back of the packaging gives you a really nice up-close look at Hudson along with an alien creeping up behind him, and gives you an explanation of the Aliens storyline. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at this figure outside of the packaging. Now let's go ahead and start right off with the thing that's probably going to be the most debatable part of this figure, that being the face sculpt. As you can see, he's got a very almost scared looking grimace to his face. It is a pretty decent likeness to actor Bill Paxton, but I think the choice in the facial expression is going to be a bit debatable. It might be one of those things that makes people either love or hate this figure. Specifically because of the fact that he's in such kind of a goofy pose there with, like I said, almost that fearful expression. And unfortunately, the eyes almost do have kind of a cross look to him. Uh, you can see his right eye is much more crossed than his left, so it's not too bad on my specific figure here. But I have seen some people reporting that their figure's coming cross-eyed, so it might be something worth looking at closely before picking up the figure. Now I will say, even though it is a bit of a goofy expression on his face, it's still very well sculpted. And it's got a very nice paint job on there with some great paint in the hair, the dark brown hair there, and you can even see some stubble on his chin and on his cheeks and everything. So the sculpt itself is good, it's the facial expression itself that might throw some people off. Now looking at the rest of his uniform, I will say that it is incredibly well done. Not only is it all very well sculpted throughout, but there is an incredibly nice paint job all throughout this figure. You can see that his shirt underneath the armor that he's wearing there, as well as his pants, have this really great camouflage paint effect. And then the outer armor that he's wearing is made of that nice soft goods plastic that we've been seeing NECA use lately, so it doesn't hinder his articulation at all. And it does have a lot of nice little added details on there, both sculpted and painted. Specifically, you can see some really great little details painted on, like the skull on his chest. You can see the Hudson name kind of printed across his upper chest there. On his back, there's a pair of eyes on his left shoulder, and there's even some words that say contents under pressure. So it's really cool just looking at all the little painted details that NECA added onto this figure to really make him stand out. Now on that articulation, let's go ahead and take a look at what he's got. The head is on a nice ball joint there, so it's able to move both left and right, and pivots up and down very nicely. He's got ball joints at the shoulders there, he's got swivel at the bicep, a standard joint at the elbow, as well as a good swivel and a hinge joint at the wrist. He's got that nice torso joint that allows his body to kind of rock around and swivel back and forth, and like I said, that soft goods armor that he's wearing doesn't hinder that movement whatsoever. He's got good ball joints at the thighs there, so the legs can move outwards, forwards, and backwards, and allows the thighs to swivel at that ball joint. Then he's also got the standard knee joints that are double jointed. You can see he's got these uh, knee pads on that do a great job of covering up that articulation. And then he's got the regular swivels at the ankles there that also do a great job of rocking up and down and side to side. And then he's even got the toe cut articulation. So there's a good amount of articulation cuts here that's going to get you some really great poses out of this particular figure. Of course, in order to complete those poses, he's going to need some killer accessories. And luckily, NECA loaded this guy up with lots of goodies. So let's go ahead and check those out. 
First of all, he does include just this little shoulder lamp. This is part of the figure's armor, and it just plugs right onto his back. You'll see that there's a little hole in the back of his soft goods armor there uh, that kind of matches up with a hole that's in the back of the figure. So there's a little peg there that plugs directly into his back, and that way you've got the little mounted lamp right there on his shoulder. As far as his other accessories go, these are both handheld ones. Uh, first up, we've got the cool little alien tracking device there. Uh, it's got a handle on it so you can hold it in his hand, and it's even got a cool little screen on there that's got a nice little decal that shows the little red dot on there, which is Hudson's position, and you can see all the other little blue dots around, which would be other people, or maybe the aliens creeping in, so that is really cool. Uh, lots of great little painted details on there. You can see little buttons on the side and everything. Uh, and it can fit in his hand on that handle, or it's also got a strap, so that way you can strap it to his shoulder if you want to. And then, of course, where would he be without some sort of weapon to fight off those bugs? So here he is with his rifle. Rifle also has a really nice amount of detail. You can see there's some great silver scratching that's painted on to make it look like the gun is worn. Uh, and this can be held great in his right hand on the handle. He's got a trigger finger that grabs onto that trigger very nicely. And you can get some really good two-handed poses out of this rifle as well. Plus, just like that tracker, it's also got a shoulder strap, so if you'd like to, you can strap this onto his shoulder as well. What's uh, really great about this is the fact that all of those accessories have a place to be put, so if he's not using the tracker, but he's got the gun, you can still strap that to his shoulder. Same with the gun. Basically, you don't have to leave any accessories off. You can always put them somewhere on this figure, and that's always something I'm a very big fan of. So there you go, guys. There's a look at NECA Toys' brand new William Hudson figure, one of the first two Marines that is being released in the Aliens line from NECA Toys. Now, this guy is being released alongside Corporal Hicks and a brand new articulated alien figure, and they are hitting store shelves right now. So happy hunting, and until next time.